coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. President Bush said in a phrase that I often use myself that we needed a new world order. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. I think the new world order is a better thing. We had a real chance at this new world order. An order in which incredible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the U.N.'s founders. The name of this free album, folks, uh, that John Schaefer poured his heart and souls into uh, is sons-of-liberty.net. The album is Sons of Liberty, Brush Fires, I call it Bush Fires, but it's, but it's Brush Fires in the Minds of uh, Men. That's actually what... Uh, Thomas Jefferson said, I, but down here in Texas, brush turns into bush fires. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and you go to the site, it's my info, Ron Paul, G. Edward Griffin. I, can, I can't thank you enough for doing this, John, and for having G. Edward Griffin get in contact with us and, and give us the CD and say that, hey, uh, Mr. Schaefer would like to break this on your show, thinks it's the ideal place to do it. Uh, again, I'm just super excited, and I hope the listeners... Uh, take advantage of this and, and then don't go, oh, this guy could have made millions of dollars off this like your other albums do. Uh, you know, he made it for us for free. Uh, we're not going to appreciate this. I hope everybody gets this new album, Sons of Liberty, out to everyone. Yeah, me too. I mean, that's the, the whole point of doing it. They can purchase a higher resolution audio quality for like seven ninety nine in a download. And there will be at some point physical distribution where it will be in the store. No, that's good to fund yeah. yourself. We need yeah. to do that. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Cause it cost me a lot of money to do this. And, you know, but I mean, the, my, my thing is copy it. If you buy a CD, copy it. It costs money for you to fly here to Texas to promote it. Yeah. You know, you know time is really what, what yeah, cost that too. I mean, but you know, this is important stuff. It's a big deal for me. So, I mean, to spend the time and I would have been doing another project in place of this had I not done this record, but I decided to, you know, I, everything had to kind of go on hold while I was Well, doing. going back 14 years ago, I pioneered and not, and I, didn't know, I mean, I, I wasn't aware of what I was doing, mm -hmm. but I did pioneer saying, here, my film's free. And then that actually woke up a lot of people and created a large listening base, which later made us financially, uh, you know, stable so we could expand a little bit. But again, it is important for people uh, to support what you're doing at sons-of-liberty.net. We've got links to it up on infowars.com. This is a short segment, but but finishing up, uh, John, your awakening. So what was the process like building up to then making this album? Well, basically from the time that I wrote the first song, Our Dying Republic, then it, it turned into the idea kind of blossomed into, you know, I went into the studio that day. I literally wrote that song and recorded it, programmed the drums, did the vocals and everything in one day. I mean, I was that like shook up about it. And from that point on, um, I just, I was thinking, you know, what can I do? What can I do with this? And I just decided to, to, uh, to, to go for it and, you know, make it, make it a full, not, I guess it is sort of a concept album. I mean, it's, a, it's certainly the same theme running through it. And it's the song, the cleansing wind on there. That's about my, uh, my trip to Central America and how that um, that that was really the the thing that made me realize that uh, it, it was kind of the beginning of the breaking free of the matrix. You know what I mean? Being down at a place where you literally are with nature. It was just me and my family spending good quality time together for a month. And after a week or 10 days, I physically began to feel different. I'm thinking, what is this? What's going on? And it's just the whole the whole process. And so by the time I got home, you know, I. I knew something was up. Like it was weird. It was just so. Was so you woke up totally independently before you started searching for more info. Yeah, there was. Wow, a, that's really. There was, yeah, that's powerful. There was a different feeling there. You know, the water was different. The whole thing. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, it's all the frequency pollution. The water they put poison on record in there. Yeah. Uh, you know, to destabilize people. It's the. It's 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 the flashing lights, the signs, the, the the busyness, how we're all so distracted that we are really programmed when you get in nature for a couple of days. It, I mean, this happens to me, but now I, I can almost not take it because then I start really understanding levels I hadn't. And it's just my brain starts moving too quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I know for you, it was good to wake up out there. Yeah. But now I'm almost scared to go away to the jungle for two weeks because because I mean, I already know too much. And it's just and now it's starting to get really get spooky. Right. Yeah, well, hey, you know, and the thing is the people out there can, they can call us kooks all they want. The, the fact is that the research is there, you know, do it, get informed. If you want to, it, 
you can't say the because I, I, honestly, I thought a lot of this stuff that I heard. My my father was a John Birch guy, so you know, when I was a, ch- a young child, I remember certain things that him and his friends would talk about concerning the United Nations and stuff. And and then there was a point where he just didn't talk about it. Anymore. And unfortunately, he died a couple years ago, so I can't talk to him now. I wish I could. Oh, so there were those seeds, and now, 20, 30 years later, everything he was talking about is now coming true on the nightly news. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Sons of Liberty. Without distractions, far from chaos, one with nature, I see what I'm meant to be. As the winds wash over me, a chain reaction I have awakened to boldly question what I've been led to believe. My quest for true liberty. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. That's Cleansing Wind. And again, a free album, complete album uh, made by the founder of Iced Earth, John Schaefer, available for free at sons-of-liberty.net. Or you can simply go to infowars.com or prisonplanet.com. We've got links up there today. And also, when we post this later to prisonplanet.tv, we'll put a link to the site there. And then later, when this is posted to the Alex Jones channel on YouTube, up in the uh, corner, uh, we will uh, also post a link to go get the free album. And hopefully, you'll spread it with others. Uh, for rock and roll and heavy metal fans, this will certainly be a, uh, another big awakening. And again, so many people in Hollywood and in music and in science and in culture are shattering the left-right paradigm. Look at how the left is coming out now against the health care plan, finding out it was all a big ripoff for banks. I mean, everything is a ripoff for banks. They control the world. Anything and everything they do, banker bailouts, Kyoto, uh, Copenhagen, uh, health care, it's all going to be a scam. Just like you said before the break, get past the puppets, get to the bankers. Right. So continue with your awakening, uh, John Schaefer. Well, I would when you say that too, that's that's the thing that I think infuriates me because I'm I'm a huge supporter of the troops and and I know that they are um, are doing what they believe is right and and they but the the thing is when you figure out that this is all happening for uh, for a bunch of bankers you know and elitists it's it's a it's a horrible thing I mean it's just absolutely horrible so awareness to that institution has got to be it's got to be brought to the forefront if we're going to have any chance. At correcting, and that's the thing about war. The guys fighting and dying, they are heroic. They are Absolutely. saving their buddies, but they've been put in a fraudulent situation, and so they start confusing their heroism with the overall evil. And the government does that on purpose. They say, "Look at these troops with their arms and legs blown off. They've got courage." That's only meant to make the system look good. Right. I know. I mean, but I'm interrupting. No, no, Con- no, continue with your awakening. Continue with some of the other uh, songs in the album. Um. Well, let's. Let's run down the list. I mean, basically, Jekyll Island. That's we've talked about that. The creature. I think everybody needs to get this book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. It's absolutely crucial in the whole the whole scheme to understand what is going on in in our world. And I, I actually just started the, the, another one of uh, uh, Mr. Griffin's books, the, the Fearful Master, about the UN. I mean, that's another institution that needs to get the hell out of this country. I mean, you know, we we have. It's just bad. It's just bad in every way you can think. And Awareness is the key to figuring this out because they make everything look um, l- like it's good when it's actually the root cause of everything that's wrong. Actually, you know, in so many ways. So, I mean, we we have to uh, we have to be aware of that. And I r- strongly recommend uh, people get the creature from Jekyll Island because that book will open your eyes big time. It's thoroughly researched. It's fact. It's real. And uh, so, don't tread on me is the next song. That's another one we can run down. I mean, that that's kind of a uh, I mean, all of these have obviously the very similar theme. They may touch on um, on different points um, of of the whole scenario, but that sort of may, hopefully with the verses, the lyrics and the verses, it's going to make people think a little bit. Um, e- even if they don't aren't, aren't listening to this show right now, and 
and they don't know, but they just hear the song. Hopefully they can, they can hear the lyrics. And we did mix this to where normally on a metal record, I would never mix the vocals this loud, but we, my, my producer engineer and I thought the message is so important on this that we really need to, you know, put it out there. And, uh, 